Hello everyone. Let us solve an exponential equation given like this. If 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to 148, then we have to find out values of a, b and c such that this equation will satisfy. So, if we solve this sum applying property of logarithm, let us consider method 1. Applying property of logarithm means taking log on both sides. Hence, we can write logarithm of 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to logarithm of 148. Since there is no standard formula for logarithm of x plus y plus z, we cannot separate this and it becomes very complicated applying properties of logarithm to solve this sum. Because there is no such property to separate this. Okay. Now, if we try to solve the same sum applying another method, that is by observation method. Method 2. by observation. It is easy to solve this sum by observation method. Means we have to find out value of a or b or c such that 2 to the power a is less than or equal to 148. Then you can put the values for remaining arbitrary constants. 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 cube is 8, 2 to the power 4 is 16, 2 to the power 5 is 32, 2 to the power 6 is 64, 2 to the power 7 is 128, and 2 to the power 8 is 256. Now here look at these two values. 128 is less than 148. But 256 is greater than 148. So we have to consider this one. Hence if we substitute a is equal to 7. Okay. Then it gives 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power 7 is equal to 128. Now we have to find out values of B and C such that 2 to the power B plus 2 to the power C must be equal to 148 minus 2 to the power A that is 148 minus 128 which is equal to 20. Now this 20 is also sum of the two numbers that two numbers will be powers of 2. Only two numbers are there 4 plus 16. Okay. Where 4 you can express 2 square plus 2 to the power 4. Means you can assume 2 to the power b is equal to 2 square and 2 to the power c is equal to 2 to the power 4. This implies b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 4. Or if you assume 2 to the power b is equal to 2 to the power 4, then b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 2. Hence, we can write here 2 to the power b is equal to 2 square suppose and 2 to the power c is equal to 2 to the power 4. Then a to the power m is equal to a to the power n. This implies m is equal to n. Applying this property of indices, we can write b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 4. Or if we assume 2 to the power b is equal to 2 to the power 4 and 2 to the power c is equal to 2 square, then Applying the same property, we can write b is equal to 4 and 
c is equal to 2. We have obtained values of a, b, c where a is equal to 7, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 4 or a is equal to 7, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 2. Let us verify. Put a is equal to 7, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 4 on left hand side of given equation. What is left hand side of given equation? It is equal to 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c. And that is nothing but 2 to the power 7 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 4. But 2 to the power 7 is 128 plus 4 plus 16 and this is equal to 148 and which is right hand side. Okay. This is observation method. Let us solve this sum applying algebraic method. So now method number 3. Algebraic solution. Let us rewrite the equation. 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to 148. 148 can be written as if we divide 148 by 2 then 2 7 ja 14 2 4 ja 8 again divided by 2 2 3 ja 6 2 7 ja 14. Hence 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to 148 can be written as 2 to the power 2 into 37. Okay. Now on left hand side take 2 to the power a common from these three terms or simply you can say divide and multiply left hand side by 2 to the power a. Hence 2 to the power a divided by 2 to the power a left hand side in bracket 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c. Keep right hand side as it is 2 square into 37. Now take this 2 to the power a in bracket and keep numerator 2 to the power a as it is. Hence we can write 2 to the power a into bracket divide each term by 2 to the power a. 2 to the power a upon 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b upon 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power c upon 2 to the power a this is equal to 2 square into 37. If we simplify this 2 to the power a gets cancelled with this 2 to the power a and keeping these two terms as it is hence we can write 2 to the power a into 1 plus 2 to the power b upon 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power c upon 2 to the power a is equal to 2 square into 37. Now comparing 2's powers on both sides. Hence 2 to the power a we can write 2 square. Hence 2 to the power a is equal to 2 square and 1 plus 2 to the power b upon 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power c upon 2 to the power a is equal to 37. Let us assume this as equation 1, this as equation 2 and this as equation number 3. In equation number 2, base of left hand side and base of right hand side is same. Hence, we can apply this law of indices that is a to the power m is equal to a to the power n. This implies m is equal to n. Hence, we can write a is equal to 2. We obtain a value of a which is 2. Put this value in equation number 3. Hence, equation 3 can be written as 1 plus 
2 to the power b upon 2 square plus 2 to the power c upon 2 square is equal to 37. Simplify this. Hence, 1 plus 2 to the power b divided by 4 plus 2 to the power c divided by 4 is equal to 37. Take this one on right hand side. Hence, 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c divided by 4. Taking LCM of these two terms, that is 4, is equal to 37 minus 1, which is equal to 36. Now, take cross multiplication. Hence, we can write 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to 4 into 36. Now, 4 is 2 square. And again, 36 can be written as divide it by 2. 18 to the 36 and 9 to the 18. Hence, we can write 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c. Consider this as equation number 4. 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to 4 can be written as 2 square into 36 can be written as 2 square into 9. Now, applying laws of indices, a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Hence, right hand side becomes, keeping left hand side as it is, 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to 2 to the power 2 plus 2, 4 into 9. Again, take 2 to the power b common from these two terms or divide and multiply left hand side by 2 to the power b. Hence, 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power b into bracket 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c. This is equal to 2 to the power 4 into 9. Now, take this 2 to the power b inside this bracket. Hence, we can write 2 to the power b into bracket 2 to the power b upon 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c upon 2 to the power b is equal to 2 to the power 4 into 9. Now, comparing 2's powers on both sides of this equation. This can be written as 2 to the power b is equal to 2 to the power 4 and 2 to the power b upon 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c upon 2 to the power b is equal to 9. But here 2 to the power b cancels with this 2 to the power b. Hence, we can write this as 1 plus 2 to the power c upon 2 to the power b is equal to 9. Since a to the power m upon a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n, this becomes 1 plus 2 to the power c minus b is equal to 9. And here, 2 to the power b is equal to 2 to the power 4. Base is same. Hence, powers are equal. Applying the law of indices, we can write here, b is equal to 4. We have obtained values of a and b. Now, put this value in this equation. Suppose this is equation number 5. Put in 5. Hence, we can write, 1 plus 2 to the power c minus 4 is equal to 9 and this gives taking this one on right hand side 2 to the power c minus 4 is equal to 9 minus 1 and which is equal to 8 and 8 is nothing but 2 cube hence comparing 2's powers on left hand side and right hand side Hence, we can write c minus 4 is equal to 3 and this gives, taking this minus 4 on right hand side, c is equal to 4 plus 3 and which is equal to 7. Hence, we obtain c is equal to 7. In this way, we obtain values of constants a, b and c where a is equal to 2, b is equal to 4 and 
c is equal to 7. Let us verify our answer. To verify, we know left hand side of given equation is 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c. Hence, this is equal to 2 to the power a is 2 plus 2 to the power b is 4 plus 2 to the power c is 7. You know, 2 square is 4, 2 to the power 4 is 16 plus 2 to the power 7 is 128 and this is equal to 4 plus 16 20 plus 128 and this is equal to 20 plus 128 that is 148 which is right hand side. Hence, equation is verified by obtained values of A, B and C. Hence, we can say LHS is equal to RHS and hence the answer A is equal to 2, B is equal to 4, C is equal to 7 that is nothing but A, B, C is 2, 4, 7. Hence the solution of this sum. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks a lot.